हरि ओम नमस्ते आई एम शिव ऋषि आई एम एन आचार्य ऑफ दी सत्यानंद योगा ट्रेडिशन आई एम हैप्पी टू मीट यू हियर एट योगा एंड यू वी आर एट 136.1 योगा स्टूडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट चैंटिंग इन फैक्ट चैंटिंग हैज बीन अ प्री क्रिएशन ट्रूथ in the sense this whole universe has been created by the lord by using chants by using sound if you read the bible in genesis it speaks about how this universe is created using sound and chanting is all about sound chanting is all about emotions chanting is all about the vibratory level of existence if you look at human race human race has utilized chanting even before the advent of language when people did not have language when they were communicating through other forms they used chants if you look at the aboriginal dance or the dance that native indians in america or the native africans used to connect themselves with nature chant has been the nucleus of letting go we all need food to nourish this body we all need love care and friendliness to nourish our emotional body we all need prana the life giving energy to nourish our energy body pranic body but none of these can work at the vibratory level and we exist at our core at the vibratory level and chants are capable of taking us to that state and if you look at any religion in this world since the advent of any religion chanting has been a tradition swami satyananda and his guru swami shivananda and if you look at the whole tradition of bihar school of yoga chanting has always played a major role in fact in ashram life in daily life chanting can bring about a complete change the way you feel about yourself i would sincerely recommend that in the morning when you wake up before you remember that you are going to do something today it's very nice thing to find few minutes maybe one or two minutes to sit with your eyes closed in a nice place maybe even in your bed close your eyes and express gratitude to nature that provides so much and use chance that you already know or you can always get from a good source like ours and you can chant those mantras for one or two minutes and try this out and you will see that within just about a minute or two you become tranquil or depending on the chant the mood the state of mind the level of energy the sharpness of the intellect or even the condition of the body can be changed this is from a vibratory perspective but mantras are as you know sound and sounds have two aspects to them they have an energy aspect and they have a consciousness aspect when you chant a mantra the energy aspect goes inside your system and it awakens the corresponding centers in your body and connects you with the universal energy and brings inside you a change at your energy level if you try the sound ah just try the sound along with me try the sound close your eyes if you want say ah 
Open your eyes now. Where do you feel the sound is emanating from your body? Is it emanating from your right shoulder? Or your right knee? No. It's emanating from your navel. Yeah. If that has been your experience, then your observation is right. Sounds have specific locations in our body and these specific locations connect to specific emotions. And when chants are done, when you use the mantras that have been uh, developed by the great seers, you know they are called seers. In Tamil we call them as Parpan, the one who sees. These seers saw these mantras. They saw it in their consciousness, in their mind, at an altered, different state of consciousness. And they have given it to our advantage. So it's my sincere appeal to all of you to definitely try chanting in your life. I wish you all the best. Hari Om Tat Sat.